Uh, behind me here is the Spirit of Innovation. This is the last model of this Blimper airship in the world. Uh, we've been flying this model of airship about 40 or 50 years all over the country. And uh, this is the last one left. It's making room for our transition to the Zeppelin NT. The NT stands for New Technology. We'll eventually get one out here the end of next year after we decommission this last GZ20 model. And uh, today we're here celebrating Spirit of Innovation christening. So we've been flying this for 10 years. This airship was originally based in Pompano Beach, Florida. Uh, it's been there since 2006. And we picked it up September last year and flew it out to LA, where we are here, Carson. There's uh, this big bag behind you, or the envelope, the big blimp that you see flying through the sky. Uh, we have a helium space, and what, uh, what makes this specifically easier to operate is we have two smaller balloons inside the big balloon. Those are called ballonets. So we have a forward and an aft ballonet, it's French for balloon. This is, uh, the best analogy is like a submarine. When they do their climbs and descents under the surface, uh, say landing on the, the, um, the floor, they do that with water. We ballast with air. So that way we don't have to get rid of helium every flight. Helium is very expensive. There's about 1.5 million birthday balloons worth of helium behind me when it's uh, fully loaded. So as we climb, the helium expands. We have to take air out of those ballon ballonets to compensate for the expanding helium. As we descend, the helium contracts, so we have to introduce air int into those ballonets. So when we land, they should be about equal. Think like a teeter-totter. We land this 200-foot-long airship on one Goodyear tire. And ideally, we weigh nothing, and we're perfectly balanced. And we have three main missions. Uh, first and foremost, we act as global ambassadors for the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. So we do a lot of aerial coverage. You'll see us over Dodger Stadium, Staples Center, Angels, USC, UCLA, Oscars, Golden Globes. Everything's here. So we do a lot of that aerial coverage. We were the first to provide aerial coverage in 1955. We do a lot of passenger rides for some of our corporate customers. Uh, we also do a lot of charity rides throughout the LA area. So when you see us cruising around Long Beach or Palos Verdes, Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, typically we're, um, we're doing hour, hour long flights with passengers and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. We can cruise a little bit lower when we're out over the ocean and cruise by the piers, the sea breeze and wave at people out there. So it's, uh, it's good to bring a lot of joy to the general public flying these, these ships around South Bay. So the actual, the huge bag that you see with the Goodyear on it, the, the blue and gray and a little bit of yellow, so those typically last 10 to 14 years. Even that gondola, the control car where the pilot and the passengers sit, or our TV man, um, that's been reused. So when that, you know, the bag wears out, we'll put it in a hangar, take the old bag off, put a new bag on it, and fly it. My favorite cruise is Palos Verdes or Manhattan, Hermosa, Redondo. Uh, Redondo, we're the official bird of Redondo Beach. And we can cruise lower over the, the water. That's, get a lot of smiles, people get great pictures. Blimp shark, shadow as we call it, cruising along the beach. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. But uh, typically when we're transiting to different areas, you know, flying across the country, flying up north to Canada, we'll typically try and do uh, anywhere from 7 to 10 hours flight a day. A lot of that has to do with fatigue. Anytime we're doing the long flights, we'll have two pilots on board. No autopilots on airships, so we switch off every hour for fatigue. Uh, not only the pilots fatigue, of course you have to remember there's a crew of uh, typically about 20 people on the ground that follow us anywhere we go outside of LA. So we want to make sure that they're not too tired either. If given you know the right conditions, this thing will climb at 2,400 feet a minute. So uh, you know when we do those steep climbs after being low over the Redondo Pier, this thing gets up really quick when you want it to. So this base, uh, we're here in Carson, California. Well, technically we're right on the border of Carson and Gardena. The area code on the base is Gardena. The blimp is actually in Carson. So we're quite literally right here is the border of those two uh, two cities. Fun fact here is why you may see in the picture here, the ground is not in that great a condition. This is all uh, landfill area. So back in the day, you go 12 feet underground here, this is all landfill. So that's why the, the ground doesn't look too great, but a little bit of history about the area. But uh, it's, it's been good to us. Again, we've been here since the late 60s. That huge billboard that you see when you're passing on the 405, whether you're southbound or northbound, uh, that's big, pretty much the biggest billboard in California since it's been there so long. There's only one of these left in the world, so take the most of it. It'll be gone in a year. <laughs>